Hello, welcome to my channel. Today in this video you will get guidance on JSON serialization and deserialization in ASP.NET MVC development. So, be with me at end of the video. Let's start with introduction. JSON is a lightweight format that is used in ASP.NET development for data exchange. In this video, I will make you guidance on how to use JSON serialization and deserialization in the ASP.NET MVC development project. In this video, I share steps to use Newton Soft JSON in the MVC app. You can learn these simple steps and use the features accordingly. I am introducing JSON serialization and deserialization using newtonsoft.json.dll in an MVC-based application. JSON JavaScript Object Notation, is one lightweight data exchange format. JSON is name slash value assembly. The JSON structure is made up of comma, colon, and double quotation marks and it includes the following data types, object, number, boolean, string, and array. Serialize means converting an object instance to an XML document. Deserialize means converting an XML document into an object instance. Next understand, use of Newtonsoft JSON in MVC app. Below are the steps to use Newtonsoft JSON in an MVC-based application. First, download the latest release of Newtonsoft JSON DLL. For download, you can follow link which I have mentioned here. Second, to give the reference of Newtonsoft JSON DLL we need to add a reference from the new Git gallery as per the below screenshot. Next is JSON serialization and deserialization process. Now here, JSON serialization is the process of converting the state of an object into a form that can be persisted in a storage medium or transported across the processes or machines. Same way deserialization is a process that converts the outcome of serialization into the original object. After completing the package installation for Newtonsoft JSON we can serialize and deserialize data as per the below code. Give the reference to the code by using the Newtonsoft JSON namespace in code. Next understand JSON serialization. For serializing the JSON object we have to write the code as mentioned in the image. Here, we have two object classes rootObject and configuration class in which we have to serialize the JSON string. Result of the serialize object. Here, in the below screenshot image you can see the result of the serializing the object in string. Using JSONConvert.SerializeObject we have to convert an object into a string. Next is JSON deserialization. We can deserialize the JSON string into the object as per the mentioned image code. Here, in the above code, we can deserialize the JSON string onto an object. For that we have required the object class for deserialize, in our case, we have created the root object class for deserialize the JSON string as per the below code image. So, as per the above code, we get the deserialize result in the above object class. Also, we can give settings in JSON covert serialize and deserialize methods like mentioned code. Advantages of serialization and deserialization. First, the main benefit is the speed in populating an object as opposed to querying multiple tables in the case of database storage. Second, simplicity in coding for serialization and deserialization is another benefit. I hope you can now use JSON serialization and deserialization in ASP.NET MVC development and design intuitive applications. I have also shared the advantages of serialization and deserialization. You can make comments and ask ASP.NET development related queries from our professionals. If have any queries regarding ASP.NET development, feels free to contact us. Our email ID is info at aegisoftech.com. Our contact number is plus 919824172020. Our office address is Royal Square, First Floor, Office Number, 110, near Shilp Tower, Tagore Road, Rajkot, 360001, Gujarat, India. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like and share this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new videos.